biggest explosions throughout history. It all started with the Big Bang, and in the 13.8 billion years since, there have been some pretty big booms. We've hunted far and wide and found the most massive detonations ever to occur on Earth. Explosions are measured in their equivalent of tons of TNT, trinitrotoluene, not to be confused with dynamite, which is also explosive but a different chemical compound altogether. So explosions are measured in their equivalent weight of TNT, and oftentimes when a large explosion occurs, they're compared to the explosions caused by Little Boy and Fat Man, the nuclear bombs that were detonated in Hiroshima and Nagasaki, Japan in 1945 about 15 and 21 kilotons of TNT, respectively. Now, personally, I find this distasteful. It turns the deaths of more than 100,000 people into nothing but a footnote to the power of the bombs themselves. That said, when we discuss the size of these explosions, keep in mind that 15 kilotons of TNT resulted in 80,000 deaths. Anyway, this isn't opinion-holic, it's fact-holic. So let's get them straight. Number 16. Hiroshima. On August 6, 1945, an American B-29 bomber, dubbed Enola Gay, dropped an atomic bomb on the Japanese city of Hiroshima. The bomb, Little Boy, exploded with the power of 15 kilotons of TNT, immediately killing 80,000 people. Tens of thousands more would later die in radiation exposure. Number 15. Trinity. The world's first nuclear explosion occurred just a few weeks prior to the bombs that the U.S. dropped on Japan on July 16, 1945, when a plutonium implosion device known as the Gadget was tested at the Trinity site near Alamogordo, New Mexico, exploding with a force of roughly 20 kilotons of TNT. While the explosion didn't result in any direct casualties, it did, of course, usher in the age of atomic weapons. Also, it's believed that civilians in New Mexico may have been exposed to thousands of times the recommended level of public radiation, which couldn't have been good for them. Number 14. Nagasaki On August 9, 1945, just three days after the bombing of Hiroshima, another atomic bomb, the 21-kiloton Fat Man, was dropped on the Japanese city of Nagasaki, instantly killing a further 40,000 people. Again, over time, the number of fatalities increased considerably as the devastating effects of a nuclear fallout were played out for the world to see. Number 13. Tunguska In June of 1908 in Russia, there was a massive explosion over the Podkamenaya Tunguska River to the tune of 10 to 15 megatons of TNT equivalent, or about 650 to 1,000 times the force of Little Boy. While there's been a number of conspiracy theories as to the cause of the explosion, the scientific community has landed on a meteoroid exploding mid-air as the cause. There was an area of about 2,150 square kilometers where trees bent away from the hypocenter of the blast. Number 12. Ivy Mike On November 1, 1952, the U.S. tested a hydrogen bomb over the Marshall Islands. Ivy Mike had a yield of 10.4 megatons. The detonation was so powerful that it vaporized the island where it was detonated, leaving in its place a 164-foot deep crater. The explosion's mushroom cloud traveled 30 miles into the atmosphere. Number 11. Castle Romeo In 1954, the U.S. was testing nuclear bombs over the Bikini Atoll. The so-called Castle series included the Castle Romeo, which had a yield of 11 megatons. Romeo was the first device to be tested on a barge over open water instead of on a reef, as the U.S. was slowly running out of islands upon which to test nuclear weapons. The blast would have incinerated everything within 1.91 square miles. Number 10. Nuclear Test 123 Russian bomb tests have kind of boring names. Take Nuclear Test Number 123, which occurred on October 23, 1961, at Novaya Zemlya. Test number 123 used a 12.5 megaton nuclear bomb. A bomb of this size would incinerate everything within 2.11 square miles, while causing third-degree burns in 1,309 square miles. No footage or photographs of this nuclear test have been released. Number 9. Castle Yankee Next up in the Castle series, 
Newcastle Yankee was conducted on May 4, 1954. The bomb was 13.5 megatons, and its fallout reached Mexico City, about 7,100 miles away, within four days. Number 8. Castle Bravo A couple months earlier, the most powerful castle explosion. Castle Bravo detonated on February 28, 1954. Bravo was anticipated as a 6 megaton blast, but instead it produced a 15 megaton fission blast. Its mushroom cloud reached 114,000 feet in the air. The U.S. military's miscalculation of the test size resulted in the irradiation of approximately 665 inhabitants of the Marshall Islands and the death by radiation poisoning of a Japanese fisherman who was 80 miles away from the detonation site. Numbers 7, 6, 5, and 4 – More Russian Numbered Tests Throughout 1962, the USSR conducted a series of nuclear tests over Novaya Zemlya. Tests number 173, 174, and 147 all stand out as being the fifth, fourth, and third strongest nuclear blasts in history. All three produced blasts of about 20 megatons, or about a thousand times as strong as the bomb used on Nagasaki. A bomb of this strength would incinerate everything within three square miles. And then on December 24, 1962, the USSR conducted test number 219 over Novaya Zemlya. The bomb had a yield of 24.2 megatons. It's the second largest nuclear blast ever. Number 3. Tsar Bomba Tsar Bomba was a hydrogen bomb developed by the Soviet Union and tested on October 30, 1961. With a yield of 57 megatons, it was the most powerful man-made explosion ever. A village 55 kilometers from the Novaya Zemlya test site was completely leveled. Damage to buildings occurred as far away as Norway and Finland. The explosion created a mushroom cloud 64 kilometers high and a shockwave that was still detectable on its third passage around the Earth. Number 2. The Mount Tambora Eruption In early April of 1815, the Indonesian volcano Mount Tambora erupted, unleashing the equivalent of 800 megatons of TNT, making it 14 times more powerful than Zarbamba. The eruption was heard as far away as Sumatra, which is 2,600 kilometers away. The volcano created an ash column 43 kilometers high and dispersed ash into the stratosphere and around the globe. It's estimated that about 10,000 people died directly from the eruption and that 70,000 died from the resulting climate change as ash blocked out the sun and caused the year 1816 to be the second coldest year in recorded history. Number 1. Cretaceous Tertiary Event, also known as KT Extinction Event. Okay, so let's step back in history a bit, like way back. You've probably heard that dinosaurs went extinct after a meteor collided with the Earth some 66 million years ago. The collision, known as the Cretaceous Tertiary Event, created the Chicxulub Crater located off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula. It's estimated that the explosive force of this impact would have been the equivalent of 96 teratons of TNT or about 1.7 million Zarbambas. If those calculations are correct, it would make the impact the greatest explosion ever to occur on Earth. With this, we come to the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and if you want to watch more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Until next time, stay tuned and keep watching Factolic.